Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. This one's going to be a little bit different, but I'm sure you know that Eric Pope asked Reddit for feedback on balance on a recent Warriors Den. Interesting idea, I'd say, but he did do that, and so today we will be looking at some of the most popular balance threads and kind of talking about them, pointing out the flaws and hopefully acknowledging the good parts as well. I have not looked at any of these besides the main pinned thread on r slash forerunner, where I only looked at the first three or so comments and quickly gave up. I usually script my videos so I know what to say, but today will be a little bit different. I'm just going to be looking at a bunch of different threads and commenting on them. So uh, let's get to it and hope you guys enjoy. So uh, first up we've got this thread. This is the main thread on r slash forerunner. It's pinned, so it's, you know, it's the big one. And the, the thread itself is just simply saying what this is for not about new characters or new like, custom reworks or anything like that this is simple things that could be fixed easily with from what i understand so the first um post here first comment is just kind of posting all the things that this guy found about uh uh all the reworks that i'm not sure if he is the one who made them i mean we can check what's his name i dramas uh raider is he the one who made these posts uh, no, so he just f finds some of the posts that he likes and he just posts them here. Um, not too much to talk about here because if I were to go through all of these posts or all of these links, it would obviously be way too much. He has like 20 posts, I think, in this. Uh, yeah, like 20 or I guess, yeah, like 15 or whatever threads in this one comment. So I'm not going to be looking at it too much. Um, so let's go to the second comment. This is just a, a few fixes, like Valk sweep finisher is not accessible if the AoE sweep has affected an ally. Fix so the sweep finisher can be used even if an ally is swept. Extremely simple things. Uh, Tiani's back dodge and guard switch takes, yeah, that's a, that's a thing. And, oh, it, yeah, that, that is a thing. Um, and Jung Jun's damage application timing and animations do not match up properly. Yeah, that is, from what I know, true as well, so sure, whatever. I'm surprised that this has so many upvotes. I guess it was posted very early on, uh, but it's very simple things. And fix our Musha Bagdad as well. Uh, yep. All right, the next one. I will start with some questions for the devs. as well. Maybe I can answer some of them as well. Why was Shugoki's ability to feint his unblockable heavy removed? What? So, Shugoki's feint is the same. It's never been possible to feint the unblockable. It was po it's possible to feint up until the unblockable, but when you see the unblockable icon, you parry. It's the same with Centurion's Heavy, as he says. Same problem, quote unquote, he says. It has always been this way. It's always been, you see unblockable, you parry. Now you can, if you delay your feint, you can flicker the icon, but it doesn't do anything. Uh, because you can just wait a little bit and then parry it, because it's still a very, very easy parry. And there, it's never added pressure against out of stamina points, as the guy says, so no, I, I've never heard of this happening, I've, it's always been the same. Second point, Gladiator's zone attack is currently one of the most safest attacks in the game, that's a big misconception, but sure, and it's the main reason why he's competitively viable, that is the only reason he is uh, somewhat decent, yes, without it he would be very weak, yes. But with it, he feels very cheap, as it cannot be punished if it is avoided, even even if it is avoided correctly. That is not true. Um, Gladiator on the current tier list, I think the one made by Setmix, I think he's like what high A, low S. Um, let's look at it. Uh, where's the <laughs> where's the thing? Where's the uh, tier list? And have it open. There we go. He's uh, what? Yeah, he's high A, not even the highest of A. And now obviously this is um, not gospel, right? But he's not amazingly strong or anything like that. Uh, gladiator that is. Um, and his zone is not safe and it is reactable. The reason it's really strong is that it's harder to punish than most other things. And some characters cannot punish it. Characters like Lawbringer, Warlord, those characters cannot punish um, Gladiator's zone attack, but uh, many of many characters can punish it even on a reaction, and some can on prediction. Uh, but I am all for changes to uh, to Glad. Of course, he needs a rework. He only has one move. Make all of his other moves way better. Make zone a little bit weaker, and we could have him back to being being good. Whereas right now he's maybe okay against like one or two characters. Uh, how do we plan to fix this? Yeah, again, 
make cloud zone a little bit weaker everything else make it a lot stronger but of course i have no specifics here characters such as shinobi and warlord are particularly particularly sorry high on the competitive tier list because of their really strong unlock charge ability however this creates an unlock charge meta uh, sure this is really unfun for the opponent and largely largely ignores all of the elements of the art battle system what are your thoughts on some moves like this completely negating the other mechanics of the game they don't really do that but what they do is they provide pressure and in what they do in theory is good right it's the execution of what they actually do that's bad right especially with shinobi where shinobi is just unpunishable and the world is punishable uh, he's, I think, overall pretty strong, right? He's a little bit stronger than Shinobi, I would say, at the highest level. But that also depends on the math for both characters as well, actually. Uh, but either way, with Warlord, it's not like... Okay, Crushing Charge needs a nerf, just like Shinobi's sliding tackle. Shinobi overall needs a fucking rework, an entire rework. Um, but with Warlord, it's more that the Crushing Charge itself is too strong, right? And everything else that he has is too weak. It's kind of like Glad Zone. A headbutt is not very good. It's reactable. Uh, it's punishable. Same with everything else that he has, right? In 44, he's very weak because all he has is his bashes, right? Which obviously gen generate a lot of revenge. There's not as many walls in 44 as there are in 1v1, so that's why walls not very good in 44. But yeah, obviously they, they should not be as strong as they are right now. I think if anything they could put maybe be used for out of stamina uh, pressure or maybe used for 4v4 in general but yeah i obviously shouldn't be used for 1v1 uh as it is right now um let's look at the comments yeah this is glass zone was used uh um was nerfed a little bit yes with the uh glass zone having 100 ms graphic vulnerability right now Really slow once you get inside the first attacks. It's slow for the first attacks as well. <clears throat> Making the zone unfaintable would weaken it. It would also make it absolutely trash and not usable. So maybe let's not do that. Um, there's a lot of different ways to do it that I've heard. One is to make it 500 ms, whereas right now it's 600, right? To make it unreactable, where because right now it is very very reactable. Um, so make it 500 and make the second part unfaintable. That's one thing that I've seen. Yeah, there's a, there's a few different ways. I think that's like the easiest one. I'm not sure if it's the best one though, so don't take it as like, oh, I learned I can think this should be what's done to glad I don't know what should be done. Um, Again, no, just making it unfaintable isn't isn't the case. You, you don't want to do that. Because if you just make that, if you just make Gladstone un unfaintable, it, it's just absolutely trash and not usable. Whereas right now it is usable and against certain characters you want to use it more than against some others because against some others you don't want to use it actually. Like against Shaman you don't use Gladstone uh, against a player who's really good because it's punishable every time on reaction because of how quick Shaman dash, heavy dash heavies are. Okay, let's look at this list. This is a pretty long one. I love this game and I want to see it thrive. Uh, it's a little ranty. Well, that's a great introduction, isn't it? I'll, I'll go through it point by point. If there's anything that's like s specifically important or egregious or anything, I'll, I'll make sure to mention it a little bit more. Shugoki, Lobbringer, and Raider need reworks. Yes, the vast majority of the characters need uh, reworks or simply big changes. Um, Shinobi, I'm not even gonna name them because there's like what, 22. I think all characters need changes. I think like 16 of them need big or changes or almost reworks. That's what I think. Major points of concern are the lack of any mix ups and reliable or no, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, sure. Sent Armusha Warlord. Warlord isn't. What do you mean? Lack of any mix ups. Warlord. Unreliable or no openers. Warlord. That, that, this one doesn't fit in the list, but yeah, sure, that's uh, obviously bad characters need to be not bad. Kong Shield Bash. Oh god, that's gonna be it's gonna be good. It's fast, hard to react to. It should be, yes. Slow stamina region. Yeah, I didn't like that it does that run you out of stamina, but it makes sense when you have stamina. And it's stupidly safe to throw out. No, it's not. You get a guard break if you dodge it on prediction, you get a dash tag if you uh, dodge it on reaction. Um, so no, it is not stupidly safe to throw out. And you can say, well, but he can guard break. But there's also only two timings that the defender has to worry about against Kong. It's the early timing where you will 
dodge the uh, quickest bash possible and you will come to Garbrek if he does a forward dash into Garbrek. And there's a second timing which you will get hit by a Garbrek and you will get hit by the quickest bash, but you will avoid the max delayed uh, shield bash, right? So it's, it's just a mix up between those two pretty much. And then of course the Defender House has things like being able to light attack uh, on read, being able to just interrupt in general, can break, do whatever else that, that, that he can do. Of course there's also rolls which are very strong, so no, it's not simply safe to throw out at all. This needs to change. <clears throat> we'll see what he says after that. A bash as an opener is fine, but it shouldn't overshadow the rest of the character's kit. Now this I, this I agree with, it should not be his only thing that he can do, um, because he has nothing else offensively right <laughs> his uh, chain lights with if you delay them to make them quicker and anything else that he has is just simply bad um offensively of course defensively he has a lot but of defensively uh, again of defensively he has a lot offensively he has like nothing except for the bash so yeah i do agree that what needs to be done is ne i think his defense needs to be nerfed and i think his offense needs to be majorly buffed with maybe then possibly nerfing bash a little bit Maybe making the uh, recovery longer, so you always get a guard break. But then everything else that he has needs to be way better. And you cannot make it slower, because if you make it slower, it's just never going to hit. So the speed of it is fine, but maybe the delay isn't, right? But it's not because the, the move itself is too strong. It's because everything else that he has is too weak. So once he has everything else at a similar level, or at the level that's, you know, serviceable, well, then you can nerf that as to not make him too strong. A single overtuned bash is not a mix-up. I don't think it's overtuned, but yes. Well, it is a mix-up, but it, he doesn't have anything besides that one mix-up. Okay. Glider Zone. A completely safe attack that can be spammed. I think we already talked about that one, didn't we? <laughs> no, it's not safe. It, it cannot be spammed. It, it, it is hard to react to, yeah, but it's very much reactable. Much easier than, like, Shield Bash. Um, can be cancelled off of a whiff. Yes, and completely shuts down an opponent. What does this one even mean? Completely shuts down an opponent. Like, what, you cannot, like, does it, like, physically come into your house and throw your controller away? Like, what is this? No, it is it is safer than most other types of offense in For Honor, but it is not safe. A completely safe attack that can be spammed is absolutely ridiculous to say. And it's sad that these are the people getting the most upvotes, right? This is the reason I made this video. I think after seeing this specific comment, I'm, I decided, yeah, I, I want to talk about this, right? <clears throat> and the rest of his um, comments is just like a joke. But yeah, like an actual joke. Like he's trying to make us laugh. But this part is, an, is a, unintentionally a joke. But again, like going back to kind of like uh, an actual response is not... Uh, extremely safe against specific characters. This it is uh, Warlord, Shugo, Key, uh, as long as he doesn't have high armor, uh, Lowbringer, right? Those characters, yes, it is too safe against. And but then you have to think is the problem Gladiator or is there problem? Are the pro is the problem the four five characters that don't have good enough defense compared to other characters? Like, what is the problem here? Because things like um, like Warlord not having a dash attack or Lobbringer not having a usable dash attack, right? He has a side dash bash, but it's not good. Um, that's a problem that shows in many different situations. Um, against Valk, against Tiandi, against obviously Kong, against Gladiator, against many other things, right? A Warlord, against many, many mix-ups, it is a problem that those characters do not have a dash attack. Because against Warlord, against Lobbringer, against Shugoki, a lot of things are much safer than against some other characters. Simply because all they can do is a guard break. And the, uh, with how the current recoveries of all the characters are, it is much more difficult to get a guard break than it, than it was at the beginning of the game. Like, uh, uh, two years almost ago, right? So, which is the problem here? I would say the dash attacks are the problem. Okay, <clears throat> or like the lack of dash attacks. Okay, number four, unlock tech. Woo! I'm a... Uh, I, I consider myself a bit of an expert on this one, so uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> very happy to see see my legacy. Shinobi, Raider, and Warlord all have oppressive options when unlocked. Shinobi? Sure. Yeah. Too strong. Warlord? Yeah, sure. Too strong. Raider? What does Raider... Is he gonna say Stampede Charge? Oh yeah, next... Next fucking... <laughs> 
next um next sentence stampede charge is safe it is it is not it, it get you get copper confused it has insane tracking not really now you you dodge it and you get a guy break and it never tracks your dodge it's not like border <laughs> uh, crashing charge or even should not be slide tackle and nearly always results in free damage what do you mean nearly always if you get it if you get someone into a stampede charge you get the damage every time but you're not going to get anybody in a stampede charge in a 1v1 even on console it's reactable just fine it's like what 700 600 milliseconds it's easily reactable and again the reason i'm kind of like talking about this so much is that this is one of the most avoided comments 175 at least people think think that raider has too strong of an unlock game right that's the that's the depressing part here that's why again i'm making this video but yeah no stampede charge is reactable it is punishable every time and it doesn't have insane tracking Shinobi has his sliding kick, which is fast, it is fast, and leads into a free heavy attack. No, leads into one single light attack, which is 14 damage. Ward has shield charge, which is fast, pins opponents, can was black and cancel, is able to be mixed into a guard break, and has insane out of stamina pressure. That's mostly correct, yes. All of these moves can be safely spammed, no it cannot, no they cannot. With some players not even using lock-on for the entire matches in order to abuse their unlock tools. There's two problems here, right? That Warlord's uh, Crashing Charge and Shinobi's Sliding Tackle, they're too strong. But everything else about those characters is too weak. With Shinobi, it's no offense if he doesn't have Sliding Tackle, Slide Tackle, right? There is no offense that Shinobi can do. He's too strong in terms of damage, in terms of his defense, right? But in terms of offense, he has nothing. Warlord doesn't have a dash attack. His neutral game is pretty weak. He only has two 500 MS you know lights like on just on two sides right he has no trains he barely has hyper armor he has no aoe his zone 600 ms and not too good of an aoe either so i mean headbutt is reactable that is the that is the bigger problem for me here but obviously two, both of those are a problem but i'm just making fun of this comment simply because he says that stampede charge has insane tracking is safe and nearly always results in free damage no that is now what Stampede Charge does. <clears throat> okay, 5 UI. Yes, UI is uh, dumb. Yeah, Giant Skulls. That is bad. Anything else? He says here, blocking out the guard indicators a series. No, no. And uh, additionally, during ganking situations, the external indicators go full Ultra Instinct and shit. How do I block an external attack that has no indicator? Because the game just didn't want to register it. Um. I mean, he's he's talking about something that's important, but he's making up. He's not educated right here, but obviously that's fine. I made a video about this. The way it works is it, the indicator disappears if someone is not locked onto you and you're not locked onto them. There's not it doesn't disappear. There's simply no indicator. So then you know that they're not locked onto you. Right. The problem comes in when indicators disappear because somebody like fainted an attack and so now you're getting hit by an unblockable that you didn't see because the indicator didn't show up because the game tries to help you by showing you the earliest or the the indicator that's going to hit you first right but then that can change they can faint or they can uh, or a quick attack quicker attack can be started up just as the other one can take is gonna hit you so then well you just kind of have to guess it's well not guess you can look at animations but still way too way too difficult uh, how do I block an external attack that's choosing to instant transmission from left to right every nanosecond? Uh, you look at their animation and then you can block based on that. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> Bots, that's what I do not care. Uh, quality of reworks. Award in the Valkyrie work. Yeah, there were really. Well, Valkyrie work was extremely trash with her um, not becoming strong at all, with her becoming weaker in 4v4 and barely better, if, if at all, in 1v1. She still has no offense. She just has good defense, that's it. Um, which for some reason confirms a 40 damage heavy. No, it, it, it confirms 18 or 40. It confirms 18 if the Warden decides to go for the non-charged or slightly charged shoulder bash. And it confirms 40 if he decides to go for a fully charged shoulder bash. The thing is, in order to get to that, he has to make two correct reads or you have to make two incorrect reads. All right? Because first of all, you have to dodge on the shot on the um, 
level one shoulder bash in order for him to even threaten you with a uh, with a fully charged shoulder bash, and then he has to read whether you will roll or not, right? But sure, he, it does deal forty damage, but that's kind of the entire character. That's always been the entire character, and I think that's fine because he's supposed to be a super simple character. Although I'm not the biggest fan of him only having only having that and everything else that he has being pretty bad, but <clears throat> I think there's bigger problems, but sure, I guess. But I don't think the bash needs nerves. His unblockable is slow, yes, it is trash. Um, now, Valk is a bash sweep spamming mess. No, she doesn't press buttons, because if she does press a button, she gets she eats damage every time. There's nothing, there's not a single mix-up that Valk has that's any way threatening at the highest level. Uh, okay, whatever. Um, frequency of balance patches, oh, it should be way sooner, uh, way quicker, sorry, yes. Is there anything, yes, like he says here, I don't think so. Uh, listening to the community. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> so yeah, this is a mess of a post. Uh, well, this one's wrong, this one's wrong, this one's wrong. Uh, and this one's wrong. Great! And the other ones I didn't really care about. Pretty sure JJ and Mission is still broken, so that would be a nice fix. Sure. <clears throat> Why has nothing been done to Conqueror? It is universally regarded as the most obnoxious move when fighting him, and it discourages Conqueror for players from using anything else in his kit, despite it being relatively solid. Well, no. There, it discour the game, uh, the lack of a kit, discourages Conqueror players from using anything else in the kit, because there is nothing. Obviously, I've already kind of talked about this, but if you want to nerf Conk, you have to conquer a Shield Bash, you don't do it in a way that just nerfs him, you you prop everything else up to a good level. Same with Glad. And then you nerf his defense, and then you can shift the power of his offense from Shield Bash to a, li a little bit shifted through everything else that he has. But you know, right now he has nothing else, offensively. Will anything be done regarding other characters with a full block stance move to make it on par with Jung Jun's Sifu stance? Are you trying to nerf every sh full block in the game? Because <laughs> Sifu's stance is not good, I can tell you that for a fact, it's not very good. Um, Nobushi's hidden stance is the most broken and it, 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 it vastly outperforms anything that Jun Junction has. Conqueror's is way better, but yeah, Warlords is trash. Valk's full block is better than Sifu's stance in 1v1. It could be said it's worse than 4v4, that's, I can agree with that. But yeah, it's like Sifu's stance is not a very good stance or full block or anything like that. Yeah, I agree. Uh, glad guards should not be 500 or whatever it is. So this is a uh, thread again on the competitive forerunner. A subreddit that got 500 upvotes. Like holy moly, it's like all of the upvotes I've ever gotten combined. That's a lot of upvotes, especially for a small subreddit like this one. So uh, this is just small things that could be fixed in like under a week, right? That could be changed. That's maybe, I assume that's going to. I've never seen this, right? I assume this is going to be just small change, like number changes, rather than like, please make this one, like, <laughs> add spectator mode or something, right? That's not. It's hundred percent needed for the game, and it's ridiculous that it's not there, but that's not necessarily what we're looking at here, right? Okay, so let's look at the first thing. All the lights should be at least five hundred. Yeah, I agree. Oh, there's some super specific reason for it not to be 500, but I can't really think necessarily of one right now. Some can be faster, it should never be slower. Again, like I, I think if there is like really good reason for it to be 600, sure, but I would have to... Uh, maybe if it's unparable or something, or whatever. <clears throat> Lockdown speed should be normalized. Uh, I don't think they should be necessarily normalized, but they should definitely be much closer uh, to each other. It's not that it's tracking across the entire cast. I, I mean, then you. What is the difference between the characters? If, if every move, all all characters have the same move. I think if you, I assume what's talking about here is what what is being talked about here is makes it so that every character can punish, for example, rolls or something like that. And yeah, sure. Um, like I think dash attacks in general should have a little bit better tracking forward, especially. Uh, but I don't think it necessarily has has to be said like make everything track. Right? That's not necessarily what should be what should be done. Lubring and Nabushi barely take a step forward when heavy attacking. Nabushi's heavies actually have good tracking on the sides. <laughs> Increase health. I think that's a little bit bigger than the change for a week, but yeah, I think uh, health and stamina need to be increased overall. 
uh, or damage decreased. Effectively, there's no difference, but there's kind of a difference when it comes to uh, some different parts of the game. But yeah, stamina 100% needs to be in increased, or everything that is related to stamina needs to be decreased in terms of cost. Whatever the avenue taken, either way, needs to be changed. I think that's a bigger. I think stamina is a better change for like a week, right? We, f we fix the game in under a week, so I think that's a bigger change. Of 1.2k MS reflex guard, sure. Don't think stamina damage decreased. I can no longer find the second part. That makes it absolutely trash, so please no. Chained light speed increase from 600 to 500, sure. Chained heavy speed. This heavy speed is not the problem. No, that's, 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 not, that's not needed. This, sure. May, maybe make the second light 400 and then every other 500 or whatever. But um, this is not, no. No longer find the second part, it would be very bad. Warden charge bash only confirms the side heavy. I wouldn't mind this at all. Um, although I did say that the bash doesn't need any nerfs, right? And earlier on in the video. But I think this one's mostly fine, but uh, then again, I think damage overall is high, too high in the game, so m most lowering of damage I would probably get behind. So this is not just like, oh, he hates Warden, or oh, he thinks Warden's broken. I think damage overall in the game is too high. Valk. Uh, heavy attack damage constant 30, heavy soft faint hard input from 400 to 300. Oh, I guess it's saying, okay, so you uh, get uh, Garbrick or Shilker earlier. Shil yeah. So it's 500. This doesn't make her good, so nope. Alright, so I think that's it for the video. I hope it's not too long and you guys don't mind too much, but also there was a lot that I decided to cut out of the video to make sure it's not over like 40 minutes as it originally was. Overall, I would say I got pretty much what I expected. A lot of talk about Gladiator, Conqueror, not as much about Warden as I thought actually, but still a fair amount. Some things I agreed with, with some I didn't, and <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comments down below, and uh, see you guys next time.